Hi everyone, this is Deekshit. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss about how effectively we can track the configuration changes of a particular job in Jenkins and the configuration changes in Jenkins itself. So let's say, for example, so there is a job, a couple of people will be working on that particular job. It can be a freestyle job or it can be a pipeline job. So people will be always updating the configurations of that particular job. So you need to monitor and you need to just check like who has changed what and uh, what configurations they did. And you want to just compare it like what, what was the previous version and what are all the uh, upgradations or like the changes that they did. So for that, like there is no uh, default functionality which is given by uh, Jenkins. So for this to happen, so you need to install a particular plugin by which you'll be able to track. So what changes has been done by all the users and if any changes has been done, the configurations has been changed in Jenkins. So that also can be easily uh, come to known by uh, using that particular plugin. So let's get into the demo. So what I'll do is, so, so I'm gonna install a plugin for this. So you need to click on manage Jenkins. So after clicking on that, so you need to click on manage plugins. Once you do that, so you need to go to available tab. So then you need to search for job configuration history plugin this is a plugin that you need to install so just check this one and click on install without restart it will take a couple of seconds to install uh, that particular plugin once that is done so we will be able to see one more options in jenkins dashboard so let me go back to uh, jenkins dashboard and as you can see there is a new option job config history so when i click on this so there are a couple of things like uh, if you want to show only system uh, configs only. So before, uh, after installing uh, uh, Jenkins, so I did a lot of changes like I've set my uh, uh, number of executors to uh, two to three, three to two. I've did a couple of changes and I've installed many plugins and uh, uninstalled many plugins. All those changes it is showing to me. Like if you want to see like what are all the changes you did, so what you can do is like you can take this particular config.xml and uh, so you need to compare it with like whatever the, the config maps that you want to verify it. Like let's say this is the config.xml for your Jenkins, Jenkins configuration. You can take this, this one and then you can compare it with like the previous, the config.xml that you wanted. Okay, you can compare it and then you can see what are all the changes. See, this is one more config, right? So when I uh, click on this, so this is a previous configuration of that particular uh, Jenkins configuration. So as you can see here, number of executors are three. So now uh, when I do, when I uh, when the new thing came, new config, somebody has updated the new config. When I click on this, so as you can see, it is it is two. So I can just do comparison between two things as well. So now if I see, see, this is a file A, file B. So file A is like uh, in the window, it will be shown in the left side and the file B, so it will be shown in the right side. So when I click on show diffs, so it, it will show me like what are all the changes. As you can see, there is only this change. And the number of executors was three. So then I've changed it to two. So like this, like you can just compare it, like what was the previous version and uh, what is the current version. Okay, so this is for like the configuration of your Jenkins. So then I also did mention, so there is something called as a job configuration. I want to check like what is done, who is doing, and what are all the changes has been done for a particular job, right? So we will that, we will see that in a while. And there are other options like show job configs only. So these are all the jobs configs. So a couple of jobs I've deleted. So that's the reason it says like job one is deleted. I've did many changes before deleting. So that's the reason it is showing all this uh, XML files. And then if you want to see like uh, show created jobs only. So after installation of this particular plugin, if any job is created, so it will gonna show under this one. And then show deleted jobs only. So if I've deleted any job, uh, so after installing this, uh, after installing this particular plugin or before installing this plugin. So the, that jobs will be displayed here. Okay. And then if you want to see the combination of everything, all locks, only, not only the system locks, I want to see all the locks. 
so then you can definitely click on all the locks okay so now uh, let's go back uh, to our Jenkins dashboard and one more thing I didn't uh, mention so if you have deleted some job so if you want to restore that particular job it is possible so as you can see here so this is uh, deleted jobs we are in a deleted jobs only tab right so there is a restore column here when I click on this one it will show me a prompt restore the deleted project when I click on S, it will take a couple of seconds and definitely it will gonna restore my particular job as you can see job one is restored successfully all the configurations so by default it is disabled because you just restored it so if you want to enable this project so you can go ahead and you can click the click on that so I'm not doing that so let's just the, uh, check the configurations so whatever the configurations that I've did previously it should be there as you can see so this git link I've given like this I have not showed but this was the configuration I had given so I have recovered successfully that so that's what like if you have deleted some job if you want to recover it it is possible through this particular plugin okay so now what I'll do is let me create a new job so new item so I'll give the name of the job as uh, job 2 and I'll select the freestyle let me click OK and now so what I'll do is I'll gonna add uh, execute shell uh, step so I'll just say ls and click on save now I have one uh, particular one right now if someone comes and if they execute so in the console output you will be able to see like which user has been triggered but my concern is like I want to see if somebody changes the configurations of a particular job I need to know that as well so that is why we installed that particular plugin so when I go to Jenkins dashboard so this job config history will show all the jobs all the system configurations everything so when I go into particular job and when I click on job config history which is related to this particular job that's all it doesn't it is not related to any other job okay and now so what what I'll do is so let me click on a job two, and then now uh, so let me verify this as you can see uh, you can just see the raw XML as well so as you can see so I've just has had a task ls so that's all right so now what I'll do is so let me go to configure and let me add one more step add build step execute shell and again I'm just doing PWD okay so when I save it so now there is a configuration change so when I click on job config history one more entry should be there okay so now if I want to as a like uh, I if I'm interested to see what all the changes needed so then you can select file a with your previous version and file B with your new version you can click on show diff okay it shows us like what has been added as you can see so there is a task has been added the task name is PWD okay so this is how like you can see uh, the configuration changes you can track the configuration uh, changes uh, for your Jenkins configuration or it can be a job configuration both the things you can keep track and also you can view it okay and one more thing I want to mention here so like let's say you don't want to uh, have this particular task you want to restore it to uh, the whole thing itself there is an option so restore to this configuration you can click on this so it will gonna restore to that particular version of uh, your uh, like whatever the changes you have done in that uh, version will be ignored so now when I click on job 2 and now when I click on configure that PWD thing should be not there yeah as you can see it's not there only one step is there which is ls okay and now when when we click on job config history so one more entry will be there because um, whenever you do some changes even if it is a restore so it will be creating one more uh, one more entry in this job configuration history okay so now uh, we have seen couple of things one is um, you can see the configuration changes of a particular job and you can see the configuration changes of your jenkins and also if deleted project is there you can always restore it and also the changes whatever you did in configurations of your job that also can be restored 
So yeah, this is how you can uh, track, keep track of uh, your job configurations and your Jenkins configurations. Hope it was helpful. Thank you. Have a good day.